Science Club children tricked. They were fed a radioactive diet. From the Associated Press in Boston, the radioactive cereal was fed to 15 children at a state home for the retarded during the 40s and 50s. It was intended to give Quaker Oats an advantage over rival cream of wheat, a lawsuit contends. The federal lawsuit against the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Quaker Oats and several doctors at the Fernald School in Waltham was filed Friday on behalf of the children used as secret test subjects. The children, according to the lawsuit, were told they were part of a science club to trick them into participating and some were exposed to more radiation than federal limits allow. The lawyer who filed the lawsuit said much of the research done at Fernal was for the commercial benefit of Quaker Oats. The calcium and iron tag with radioactive tracers were put in the boys' cereal allowing researchers to track the absorption of those nutrients as the oatmeal was digested. What was the genesis of this particular experiment? It seems simply to be what are the relative benefits of oatmeal and cream of wheat. There was an utter failure to treat these kids with any human decency. Some experiments were carried out during the Cold War for military or medical purposes. MIT made the radioactive isotopes and scientists from there and Harvard carry out the experiments. Last year's state panel said radioactive calcium and iron eaten by 74 residents of the Fernand School had no discernible effect on their health. But the panel said researchers violated the children's human rights. President Clinton apologized last October to members of the Science Club at the Fernald School and to the subjects of the radiation experiments sanctioned by the federal government during the same era. His task force said the experiments at the Fernald School were unethical and so deserved no federal compensation. The president of MIT has apologized for the way the Fernand experiments were done. The lawsuit filed seeks one million for each test subject for suffering and three million in punitive damage to the deferred defendants from ever again using human beings as guinea pigs for experimental procedure. 74 children between 1946 and 1953 were fed this radioactive concoction. You had to drink the milk. That was the thing. One victim named Gordon remembered. The scientists will force the kids to drink their bowls. Every last bit. They were allowed to ask for seconds. In the book The Plutonium Files. You can find it on Amazon. It specifically outlines the government's Cold War medical experimentation. Or was come out on record sent in any way. Which included injecting cancer patients and the terminally ill including a 10 year old boy who died days later with high doses of radiation. It's a pretty hard read. One story that really stuck was disclosing how the boys at a known eugenics school in Massachusetts were fed radiation laced oatmeal by MIT scientists under the ruse that they were chosen to be part of a special club. The parents were even sent letters which made this violation of human rights sound like a good and even healthy thing for these kids, stating the study was in connection with the nutrition department of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology with the purpose of helping to improve the nutrition of our children. It went on to say the boys would get a quart of milk daily, taken to a baseball game and to the beach and to some outside dinners and enjoy your plutonium greatly. All with zero mentioned that the government via the Atomic Energy Commission had signed off on turning their kids into human guinea pigs.